I have with me Northeast United FC's top scorer Emiliano Alfano. Emi, I'm not going to ask you the usual questions that you usually get in an interview. I'm not going to ask you who's your favorite player. I'm not going to ask you what is your favorite team. I'm not going to ask you which is the best goal you've scored. I'm going to ask you about what made you get into football and what was it like growing up in a country like Uruguay where football is almost a religion. Okay, uh, I don't remember it so good, but I think uh, that I was three years old and there was a game in my country, in my city, uh, even in my team city. And I was there with my parents because they was looking my brother also playing there. And I think that the coach uh, called my father and asked if I can play. My father told that it was crazy because I was really, really small. But after that, they they gave me the opportunity to play, and I start. In, this was the first game that I played in my life. Uh, I don't remember so good, but, but everybody in my family uh, told me that experience, and this was my first uh, game in my life. Now you obviously you had a cap for Uruguay. You shared the dressing room with some of the players we all love, like Cavani, like Suarez. What does it mean for a footballer to represent his country? I know you know you've played for a lot of big clubs, but how different is it playing for your country, and what does that mean? To you? It's totally different because when you play for your country, for your team country, you play for uh, with the heart, you know, because it's. Your country, you are representing your country also, and this is more important. You have too much responsibility, uh, and it's the best. It's the best. It's, I cannot express with war what you can feel, but it's the best. Also, play with bigger player in the war like Suarez, Cavani, Diego Forlan. Uh, in this moment, Forlan was uh, the top moment of his career, and. For me, it was a fantastic experience. There are also uh, important players in my country and, and in the world also. Uh, for me, it was a very good experience and I remember uh, exactly everything because it was fantastic. Now, what the fans see, what normal people see when they look at footballers, they put clothes, cards and everything, and they feel that footballers have it easy in life. But it's not that easy. I want you to talk about some of the difficulties that you faced as a footballer so that you know some of the young aspiring footballers are watching this it can come as an inspiration for them or it can come as a lesson for them as to what to do when you are facing troubles and when you're facing hardships yes it's really difficult all jobs are things that are good and also in the other way but play football is not everything happy or everything good. Sometimes there is a moment that uh, you don't feel so good, uh, maybe if you have an injury or something like that. In my uh, case, I remember the worst moment in my career was uh, one injury in, when I was playing for Lazio, uh, my, one knee injury. Uh, my best moment I think also I was going to national team representing my country that uh, everything that this uh, mean for us, you understand? And uh, I get injury in this moment and stop everything for me. Uh, but after that you understand and you learn also that in all careers, in the life, you have maybe some problems and you have to fight and you have to continue because it's not uh, the only one thing love that in your life that you have to do and also there is a family behind you, there is friends, the life continues and you have to continue. Also you understand that there is people in the world that have many many problems and they every day get up and continue and luckily I, I was in this moment with my, the support of my family, my friends and everything after that go go in, in, in the good way but football is not easy it's like others 
works and you have to fight every day to, to find the results. You talked about your family. Footballers travel a lot and you stay in your way from your family a lot of times. How difficult it is to balance you know, your relationship with your family when you're playing football? It's really difficult. It's, it's too important to uh, have the support of, of the family. Uh, of course, that the wife, I have two small children, one, uh, one boy and one daughter. And I, now I am far, you know, it's, it's really difficult. But also you understand with, with the time that you have two choices sometimes in the life, many things. And there is moment to do some things. And uh, this sacrifice that we are doing is also for our family but uh, I think that 90% of the career of a player is the support of the family not only the, the close family example not only the wife your family children something like that also your parents maybe the friends are important for the, the support and, and this is important for us also now, what are your first impressions of the Indian Super League? Now, it's, it's a totally new experience for you because you've played in Europe, you've played in Uruguay. But those are very different from what you've seen here in India. How, how has it been so far? Is it something that you is it something that you were expecting or is, has it been very different from what you thought it would be? No, no. I, before coming, I, I spoke with some players that was here and they told me about the league. Uh, and even they told me about Northeast, uh, exactly this region is different about the, uh, the other clubs. Uh, and when I come here, I, I feel this in the first time. Uh, we saw in the first, in the first game the, uh, the stadium was full. Also in the second game, everybody crazy for football here. And this is also a motivation for us because when you play, you look and everybody is supporting your team, your partners, is a motiv extra motivation for us. And my expecting uh, are, was uh, really high, but when I come here, I can confirm this that was that is really good. Now, the final question we know a lot of things about you, but is there something that you would like to share with us which we might not know? Do you know you play FIFA when you're from <laughs> Yeah, I won Nico many times, many, many times. Uh, no, 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 you, I don't know what, but of course we know about two months. Of course there is many things that you don't know about me also, mm. even me about you and the staff. But slowly we will uh, learn and know about everybody more and more. And I think that this is also a reason that we are here together to improve and to, to learn about everybody. Thank you so much Emiliano for speaking to us and hopefully at the end of the ISL we'll see you with the Golden Boot. Okay, thank right. you Eric. Thank you.